This is part five of our guided video series on nighttime night statistics. In the previous script, we'd learned how to write a function and map it over collection to extract the nighttime night statistics from each image for multiple years. Now we want to do this for each of the class. So we need to know the land cover classes for each of these years. We already have the MODIS data sets. Let's filter it and get the images for each of the year. Uh, so we have the MODIS land cover. We have filtered to the same date range that we have filtered a night test collection. And now we have one image per year of uh, the land cover for that year. So you can see we have nine images of nighttime lights. We have nine images of land cover classes. And what we want to do is we want to say for each image from this uh, collection, we want to extract the statistics for the urban and agriculture classes for that year. Yeah. First, uh, this image, modus images contain 18 classes. We don't need all 18 classes. So we'll process this collection and just create a two band image where one band contains only the agriculture pixels, one band contains only urban pixels. And this will allow us to use that to mask the relevant pixels from the nighttime lights image. Okay. So we'll do some processing on a modus um, nighttime lights data. Uh, again, to do any processing with the collection, you write a function that works on one image and you can map it on the collection. Let's write the function called extract classes. This function takes an image. This will be a modus land cover image and we should do something with it. And again, we've seen this previously, we can just extract the relevant classes. So in this image, pixels uh, with value 13 are urban, pixel values 10, 12, 14 are agriculture. So we have these two images, both are binary images. We'll put them together in a single image. So we'll create a two band image, I'll call it class image. We'll just say urban dot add bands agriculture. Right, so we have this class image, which is a two band image containing both of this. And then we'll just return that. And uh, again, when we do all this kind of processing, we'll lose all the original properties. So if you want to retain some of those, you can use the copy properties function. This allow it to say from our original image, copy the properties and we'll just simply take the time start. Uh, in Earth Engine, all the image collections, uh, images need at least one property for it to behave properly. So uh, make sure you always add the system call and time start property. Okay. We have this, uh, now let us, do uh, create this image for all images in the modis collection. So we'll take our land cover filtered layer, map this function that we just wrote, and we can save this in this variable called extracted collection. Let's just print it to see if it worked. So you can see we have nine images. Each image has two bands, one for urban pixels for that year, one for agriculture pixel for that year, right? So this is kind of the pre-process version of this. Okay, now we have all the data we need. Let's just uh, take uh, write a function that takes each nighttime lights image and extract the statistics for both the classes. So here's the function. It is very similar to all the previous code that we have built. This function takes an image. This will be a nighttime lights image. It'll find the start and end date for that particular image, extract the, uh, the land cover image for that year. Remember that is in a different collection. So we take a nighttime lights image, find out what year it is and find the corresponding land cover image for that year. Once we find that, we can just simply select the urban and agriculture bands. And now we have a nighttime lights image. We have one image which, can, which has got urban pixels for that year. Uh, we have another image for agriculture pixels and we can simply, uh, compute the stats by masking, uh, the applying the mask. This one applies mask on urban pixels. So we select only urban pixels, mask out everything else. This one selects only the agriculture pixels, mask up everything else. So now we end up with two values. We have the urban sum of lights and agriculture sum of lights for each image in our collection. We return a feature, uh, one uh, with the property urban and agriculture along with the system one time start. So now we have this function that can compute this for one image for nighttime, nighttime lights. We'll just apply this on the entire NTL filter collection. So our NTL filter collection contains all these nine images. 
to say, map this function on all of those images. And we'll save this in a variable called sum of lights by class time series. Let's print this. And this one has nine features. Each feature now has three properties, the timestamp, the urban uh, sum of lights for that year, aggregate the sum of light for that year, and so on. Right? Again, we can now visualize this. We can use the same function that we used before. Let's say ui.chart.feature by feature. And we can autofill properties. Here, our feature is sum of lights by class time series. On the x-axis, we put our timestamp. And on the y-axis, we put both properties. So we have the urban sum of lights and agriculture sum of lights. And we also uh, set some options. So we label our axis and the... Okay. So now we have the time series of sum of lights by class by year. Okay. And uh, again, this was achieved by mapping a function that does it for one image, and then we mapped it over the entire collection. So we are almost there towards the final goal. Our final goal is to do this for every admin one region in a country. We could do this for one selected admin one region. Now let's see how to do this for all admin one regions. That's coming up in the next video.